there is nothing more annoying than canted AK iron sights even when you're running an optic. Today I'm going to show you two methods how to fix that. So unfortunately even premium rifles like this arsenal can have canted sights and honestly if you can move the post and zero the rifle this is considered to be actually acceptable. This happens on the military AKs too, so it's nothing unusual. And guys, to be honest with you, I have seen tons of M4s and M16s with a canted sights, but you really don't know that they are canted or you don't think about that they being canted because of their rear adjustable side right so this kind of masks the problem out and it's a great solution and uh, i want to show you how to install for the ak those adjustable windage adjustable sides and it's a great solution not just to cure what you have out of the factory for example when you are purchasing the rifle and zero and trying to zero the rifle when you are running into that post drift which has to be drifted all the way to one side left or right but sometimes you have to adjust that front post because of the different muzzle devices especially on the wolverine suppressors i have seen sometimes when the people put them you gotta adjust that uh, front side post through this healthy amount because the point of impact uh, is changing or maybe the ammo lot is different or whatever it is but when you have something like this, those rear adjustable leaves, they work very, very well. Of course, you can get them from the AKU store, shameless plug, but you don't have to. You can, you know, find some other sources if you don't like to support AKU, but that's fine. But I will show you how to install uh, that rear leaf right now. So, to do so i strongly advise you to use the glove and you will put the glove a little bit like that so you will trap that that side that's what you want to do you want to trap that side so it won't fly away right and the idea is to apply the pressure into like you have like a cutout in the side and apply enough pressure to overcome the power of the spring which is located underneath of the rear leaf for this the best way is to put some uh, just the electrical tape over the flat uh, flat flat blade screwdriver and we're going to need the hammer and we're going to uh, apply that pressure by uh, basically hammering it <laughs> uh, but see how i'm doing this i'm putting this at the very edge of that rear post and I gotta hold the rifle. You don't need to use the tape, by the way. Tape is just to prevent scratches. Some of you don't like scratches, that's why I put the tape to show you. But uh, we're going to take the hammer now and and boom. And we trapped the side, that's why I'm using glove. We trapped the side like that, see guys? So it didn't fly, fly away, it didn't you know, disappear. I just trapped the side. Now from the removed side, we're just going to extract the drum, those sliders, basically just squeeze them and they will slide out just like that. Okay, so this we can put it for the future. And I'm going to slide this in on the new side. And just that's it. You're just going through the slots, pushing forward, squeezing the spring on the side and there you go and that's the installation for the drum slideable drum so now with this installed we can put this rear leaf to the base and as you can see you got two like a bolt sticking out on the sides and in the base we have like a cutout notches which those bolts will go in and then all we have to do is overcome that spring tension to slide that new rear leaf into the position 
it's good to have a helper but if not I mean you have to deal with what you got right I like to apply a little bit pressure on that spring with the same flat blade screwdriver and once that's done I use the rear end of my hand to kind of start sliding this in there you go and now you can remove the flat uh, screwdriver and you can see see now you gotta push push and click and boom we have installed all the side and the slider and everything is working great now going back to the front post you can use the tool of course to center the front post so i will center the front post and then you will use the basically knob on the side on the side of the rear side leaf to make the adjustments and you will have a per perfectly centered front post and all the adjustments are done on the rear leaf which is great because as i said even if you're changing the ammo lot very often you have to make some uh, tweaking adjustments to your zero for the iron sights so that's the method number one uh, and we'll go over the method number two right now method number two is a little bit more classic one almost like a gunsmithing but it's not that complicated but it takes some time and uh, skills too for using the tools all right let's talk about it so front post sits on the barrel and it's secured it's pressed in and then it's secured with those uh, two pins and the pin which is closer to the muzzle end is also responsible for holding that plunger which is uh, supporting the muzzle devices or locking the muzzle devices on the barrel so in order to drive this pin out uh, what i like to do is screw this in and you gotta push that retainer pin a little bit so i just you can screw screw in any muzzle device this is the flash hider but it could be any muzzle device sometimes even the nut is good and i'll push a little bit in right and this will free up uh, that uh, pressure from that pin now you gotta put the rifle on the side and drive with the punch tool and the hammer the pin number one and then you're going to drive the pin number two what this will do to you for you guys and Ola you can look at me right now what this will do guys uh, at this point that front post will be sitting on the barrel just because it was pressed in and if you had and I'll show it that way so you guys can see it if your front post was closer to the left ear like here that means that you will have to tap with the probably the rubber hammer is a good solution for that top in that front post left and it will slide in left because there is no pins holding it right now and you can see how much you were how much you had to push that uh, front post with the tool right and you can kind of guesstimate how much you had to tap in that uh, front post you can shoot it you can shoot it if the resistance is really tight and you need you know a lot of force from that rubber hammer you can probably shoot it and see how close you are if that's enough if you will be centered once you have established uh, established the center now the correct way guys of uh, fixing this problem will be to drill the new holes the slightly larger hole than your uh, pins were before and drill this out and put the new pins to the front uh, post and secure it in place that way for this i would strongly recommend to have a good drill press uh, and drill it out and uh, nicely done because i have seen people using the power drills 
and to <laughs> the angles were not always right <laughs> let's put it that way and it, they, they boogered those holes and things like this so as you can see the method number two takes a little bit more time and uh, it's not as clean and it, it requires to have some tools but I mean absolutely doable and uh, you can fix that front post on the rifle uh, that way there is a one more kind of sneaky way uh, to what you can do and this includes the rear side uh, base the rear side base again is pressed in on the barrel and uh, I don't know if they will be able to see it through the rail but there is a pin sitting there and if you will drive out maybe from the top they will be able to see it uh, from if you will drill out not drill out but punch out that pin that will give you a freedom to move that whole base left and right a little bit there's not much room usually but uh, sometimes that you got like a you know literally the the one millimeter <laughs> maybe less to move it left or right and uh, again you can center uh, the the post to whatever is happening up front and then re-drill the pin slot and uh, drive in uh, the new pin to, and secure the real base uh, to the barrel so that's a little bit uh, I think it's a little bit uh, harder because it's more rear uh, and but here you got a one hole to deal with it here you got two holes to deal with it still the best solution honestly guys is that rear side leaf adjustable rear side leaf because you all you need is a hammer a flat blade screwdriver and the glove don't forget the glove to capture the old uh, rear side leaf and you're golden all right that's it let me know if you have any comments or uh, if you have any other ideas how to fix that and we can discuss this underneath of the video as always thank you for watching and see you in the next video